Oh my gosh, it's 2018, everybody! Hey, Anthony! Happy New Year, man, it's 2018! Steven! Oh, Steven is hard at work. Happy New Year, Steven! Oh my gosh, Jazz! Happy New Year, Jazz! Keep mining! So, guys, 2018, Rainland continues, and my builder actually finally finished this building. Took him a whole year to do to do it. Yes, yeah, so my builder Samuel finally finished it. You know Samuel, he he has been my builder from the beginning of this series and now finally he has a house because as you remember this house always belonged to Steven. So Samuel finally has his own house which is great. Congratulations Sam. Oh, this guy. Just absolutely love this guy. here. He has been such a good builder from from the very start of this series, am I right? Just an amazing guy. So, a little bit of an update on the sheep. Basically, from what I read and also from... Well, I did a little bit of reading in the wiki, but also one really good person actually gave me some advice in the comments. But basically, yeah, those are wild sheep. And this is bad because, as you can see, they don't really grow their wool back. But, if I just keep breeding them, then eventually, eventually I will be able to... I need some wheat, Anthony. I will be able to get normal sheep. Basically, I will be able to domesticate them. But I think it takes like four generations and this sheep might be generation three sheep. It's kind of hard to tell. But I keep breeding them and I kind of just kill some early generation sheep, but it's still hard to keep track of all of them. But hopefully I can just breed the sheep with one other sheep and that will make a normal sheep, but I'm really not sure. It will still take a minute for this sheep to finally appear, so I think what I'm actually gonna do in this episode is it's time to set up a little bit of infrastructure, because right now Rainland is a bit of a mess, okay? Well, there's obviously a bunch of random buildings in the back. There is no roads here. And I think maybe this area is not going to be changed at all. But at the very least, I can have a little bit of something in here. Like a proper road with waypoints for citizens. And also, I think, unfortunately, this is too big of a... Too big of an area for the center, so I need to make it a little bit smaller. Really, the biggest problem is this building. Okay, there is no way around it, there is no way to move it, and I just don't have enough space to build a bigger... a bigger road, so I gotta make some space now by making this thing a little bit smaller. And I think I will also... I just have no choice, okay? I gotta get rid of the snow as well. Just, you know, those sort of outer blocks. Just like this. And this is probably gonna be the new center. This is how it's gonna go. And as you can see, I've been... I've been doing a little bit of work as Jazz is giving me more and more dirt, which... I actually just realized probably not gonna last for long. I mean, she's already digging cobblestone, so I'm not gonna be getting any more dirt from her. But you know, Samuel is constantly building something and sometimes he is shoveling some dirt. So yeah, I'm constantly getting more dirt and I'm using it to terraform this area to expand this house because this hill is a bit, a bit too much. It's too inconvenient to build on, so I gotta make this whole hill <laughs> A little bit smoother so yeah that's what I'm doing constantly expanding it sometimes going down a level well I actually didn't go down a level yet but soon soon but right now I just want to have a little bit of road so let me actually quickly go and try to breed sheep so I think you know one of these sheep that still has wool is this little sheep, but also I think the the other one that still had wool was also kind of a uh, later generation sheep. I'm really not sure of exact mechanics of 
this, but unfortunately this is still a wild sheep, so yeah, it will take a little bit more time. Yes, yeah, so sometimes they actually get angry when I'm doing this. Calm down, calm down. This is actually the first time, but after doing a little bit of reading, I realized that, yeah, every single one of these wild sheep can randomly get angry at you if you start shearing them. And if I attack one of them, every single one of them will be angry, even the baby sheep. But I can just run away and they will literally forget that it ever happened. Hey guys! <laughs> ah, so yeah, I'm gonna build a road, but I am a mayor. Why, why would I dirty my hands with building roads? No, no, no. I'm gonna use building, building tool. I've never really used it before for something like this, but I think I can just choose decorations and go for... I also wanna build walls eventually, but it just requires a lot of resources and also it really requires a flat area. I need to finish my terraforming project before I can do that. So I think it's in decorations then. I don't really remember. Okay, nope. So maybe waypoints, yeah, that's right, basic bridge, basic path. I think it might be easier for me to make a nice path. I mean, those are just stone bricks. I can just get cobblestone from jazz, I can smelt it, and I can make this happen. And I think that will increase the speed at which citizens move, and also this automatically applies a waypoint to this road, so basically when they can, they will use it. To travel around. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just do just this road for now. Samuel is ready to work. Jess, I need some cobblestone, Jess. And Jess has been hard at work as well. Already has four different levels at which she can mine. And also, I actually claimed this little area. You might even see it on a map. Uh, not here. Okay, there we go. So this whole area is claimed, which means that there is not going to be any creeper explosions happening. But I don't really care about creeper explosions. That's not why I did it. I did it because claiming it allows me to chunk load it. So if I'm traveling somewhere, if I'm somewhere far, far away, everyone in this village doesn't just suddenly stop existing, okay? Those chunks are loaded at all times, so Jazz will still mine, Steven will still run around cutting down trees, and Samuel will still be my loyal builder as he has been from the beginning of this series, as you, of course, know. Okay, so... So, let me just craft some normal cobblestone. So, yeah, what he needs is stone bricks. I just want to make sure that I know what I'm doing. Stone bricks made out of stone, yes, yeah, so let's melt some stone and it's time to sleep almost but not yet, oh sheep, sheep, sheep I think I might have to slaughter some of them now it's really hard to tell which one is which and I'm not even sure exactly if I'm even doing it right maybe I should do it properly, like have two different groups of sheep and they create a baby this baby goes into a separate group with another baby. So basically I take two babies from those two different groups and this is a new generation. And so that's how I need to do it. In that case, oh my gosh, it will take a lot of time to do it. But at the same time, it's actually going to be kind of exciting. But I hope, I hope this is not the case. I hope it's a lot simpler and I just have to keep doing that. And eventually, you know, it will be a new generation. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just gonna do a little bit of reading on that and uh, everything is gonna be good! Everything is gonna be good! <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna be moving faster on this path as well. Probably not, but that would have been quite cool. So, okay, 12 for now, Sam. That's enough for you to at least start working on it. And I can take a look at it and see if I will get any faster. Okay, come on, smelt faster! Oh boy. So I, I don't really think I can live in the town hall, actually. I mean, it's first of all, it's not that good of a place. But second of all, I still need to upgrade it. And every single time I upgrade it, 
Sam will just destroy everything inside that is not part of the schematic that he has. Just like Sam destroyed, for example, this crafting table that was standing in here and I had to replace it, everything will be destroyed and that will be just a giant pain in the butt to replace it every single time. So what I'm thinking about is, I'm thinking about making an actual, not even a house, but a castle. But it's just, it just requires a lot of time and resources and also requires a good area. And I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure if I have a good area considering that I plan to, well, I, I'm making this whole thing go down more and more, but it kind of makes sense for a castle to be on top, on the highest point of, of the village. And that's where the town hall is, so... Yeah, but I, I, I still kind of want to have a castle, so we'll see. Maybe eventually I will build one. Okay, so here is another eight. There you go. Oh, look at Samuel just using his telekinesis to place those blocks without even being nearby. And now I don't even know what he is doing. <laughs> Are you okay, buddy? Okay, good, good. Sa Sam, let's let's just give a round of applause to Sam. He has been such a champ this whole series, just building stuff and oh my gosh, Sam, well done. Well done. Okay, let's see if I'm any faster on it. Nope. But citizens should be, so that's nice. If you can just start moving. <laughs> okay, whatever. Obviously, this is just a start. I just gotta... Gotta smelt some more of this stone, and I think it doesn't really matter who places it. Like, I'm probably gonna surround this whole town hall with stone bricks, and then place waypoints manually, which is something I can do as well. And of course I'm gonna continue this road, gonna go around this thing, using Samuel. So yeah, this is just a start. Don't, <laughs> don't look at it and think, oh yeah. Road is done, mission accomplished. No, just the beginning. Okay, so, well, I'm just gonna leave a bunch of cobblestone smelting in here, I guess. And I might as well make another furnace. Maybe even a couple. I've got plenty of charcoal, so... Uh, okay, let's just place them one on top of the other. But where is my charcoal? I think I put it in some chest. Maybe, maybe in my backpack. Mm, oh, it's actually still in my inventory. <laughs> Hiding behind a citizen's hut. Okay. So, 49 in here. And, uh, another 64 over there. Alright, good. It will still take 10 minutes for this baby to grow. No, oh, that's a lot of time. There's actually another cool thing in Tinker's Construct. Oh my gosh, those sheep are so noisy. Another cool thing in Tinker's Construct called... Oh, I actually don't remember what it's called. But there is something that allows you to move mobs around. Let's see if I can find it. Maybe just piggy... Yeah, piggy backpack. Right-click mobs to pick them up. So if I can just find some cows... Actually, oh my gosh, I don't really remember how it went, but I actually tried to do it. I think I ran around looking for cows specifically to get this thing, but seeing how I didn't craft it, I guess I failed <laughs> and didn't find a single cow. Okay, well, but still, the recipe is really simple, so I gotta, I gotta do it once I find some cows. An apple? Nice. Steven? How are you doing? Oh, doing good. Look at spruce and birch. You gotta... You actually gotta be planting more of these. Let me grab some of those saplings and plant some more trees. I don't think he's planting new trees. I think he's just replanting the trees that are already on the ground. In any case, let's make more of them. I'm not sure why he left those 
just standing here. <laughs> Maybe something happened to his axe while he was cutting them down. And then he just forgot about them. By the way, I have a little bit of an announcement to make. I'm not really gonna go into detail, but basically I have a few projects in mind. And to make those projects happen, I might need a few, well, sort of moderators. And I guess you can even imagine what I might need moderators for. So, if you wanna help, if you wanna volunteer to become <laughs> sort of a moderator of one of those potential projects that I'm vaguely talking about right now, then you can do it using a form in the description below. I do ask that you be at least 16 years old or older if you're filling in this form. And of course, if you're really active on the channel, that might make your application stand out, so make sure to leave a link to your channel in this forum, there's a special section for that. And thank you. And uh, let's move on. Samuel is just standing here. Wait, you still have some stone bricks? No, you shouldn't have. I guess he kind of shows that he needs them, but also you don't really need them, so that's kind of weird. Uh, let me just get this stone and uh, that stone. And it's almost night time. I think I can be- oh, 56, just like this. Okay, just gonna quickly sleep and build some more roads. Sam? All right, there we go. So, another road is coming right up, going one level down and a little bit to the left. Oh, that's not even centered. Oh my gosh. Oh, and that's a waypoint. That's basically... How citizens know that they should be using this road? Okay, confirm. And uh, what's the problem here? What is the problem? Hmm. Well. Well, there is just too many blocks on this side, I think. It's weird, it doesn't look like it. I mean, there is block of snow, block of nothing, block of alabaster. Snow? Oh, yeah, well, how did I not remove this block? Kind of just... Kind of just forgot about it. Weird. Okay, so that's... That's more like it. And Sam? There you go. And I'm just gonna plant some more roads for you. So, another one, let's rotate it and... Put it one level below. I think if they overlap... It's gonna be fine, like, he will understand, right, that he doesn't have to replace stone bricks that are already there. Hmm. Yeah, sure, I guess. I'm not sure what's gonna happen if I just place it like this. Now he's got two construction projects pretty much on the same, in, in the same place. Hopefully he's not gonna get too confused by that. Okay, so another road goes in here. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Just a little bit to the left. No, actually, nope. That's just perfect. There we go. And those... Oh my gosh, you almost knocked me down. Okay, also another one in here. Not sure if he's got enough stone bricks, but... I can make some more. Not a problem. And another one in here. And if there's gonna be any dirt blocks that should be stone bricks, I can just replace them manually, so it's gonna be fine. Okay, Sam, let's see you work in this beautiful time-lapse that you can witness right now, but I, I still have to wait for Sam to do it block by block by block. Well, it doesn't really matter, he's actually quite fast. Where are you going? I gave you all the resources you need, you fool! Oh, and you probably already see the finished product, huh? Oh, seriously, where are you going? Well, in any case, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video.